iPod Touch helping here. Alright, hey YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to change your icons to whatever you want. So, for an example, I'm going to do a couple different things, but I'm going to show you how to make an Internet Explorer logo your Safari logo. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is click. Now, before you do that, you're going to want to search Internet Explorer icon PNG. Um, or you could search installer icon or whatever, right? And I put in there an explore icon. Um, you can just search whatever you want. Like for iSoda, I have a can of Coke now. Alright, so once you uh, found the file, you want to click it. And you want to make sure it's a PNG file right there, right? Or else this won't work. So you click on it, right click, save picture as. I've already saved it to my desktop. Alright? And there it is right there, okay? Um, okay, so, now, if you want this to be your Safari icon, you're going to need to name it Safari with a capital S, so, capital S-A-F-A-R-I dot P-N-G, and, um, if you want to make, uh, let's say, an installer logo, you're going to name it uh, capital I N S T A L L E R, right? So what you're going to do basically is just whatever icon you want it to be, you're going to name it that and you're going to make sure it, all the capitals are right, the exact same as um, on your iPod. So if you wanted a stocks one, make sure it's the exact same as the writing below it, okay? If you guys don't know what I mean, let me know. Alright, so now that we have that, what we're going to want to do is create a new folder and you guys are going to, I recommend naming it your name and then icons alright so mine says Steven's icons you're gonna double click that and inside that you have to make a folder named icons you have to with a capital I alright so capital I C O N S you have to name it that and inside that is gonna be where you're gonna put all of your pictures alright so now watch I'm gonna drag my safari thing into icons right there right let go and I double click it and I look for it because I have a couple more pictures in here and there it is right there Safari okay now as you can see that TV thing is for my application called TVU player and it's named exactly the same same with winterboard and YouTube see I'm customizing my uh, pictures and look at my music thing alright so now that you have done this um you can X out of it. You, so here's your folder right there. You're going to want to put it somewhere. You're going to want to SSH into your iPod. Alright, so SSH. I, I'll put a video, or I'll put the video in the description. You're going to want to click Login. Enable it. There we go. Now I've SSH. Alright, now that I've SSH, you want to click back once only. Just once. One time. Okay, now you're here, you want to scroll down, and you want to go into Stash. So once you double-click Stash, you will see this. That Themes folder right there is where you're going to want to put the folder that you just made. So mine's called Steven's iPod. I mean, Steven's Icon, sorry. And I'm going to drag it into Themes. So drag it. Uh, themes right there. Let go. Now this should pop up. You're going to want to click copy. Now, you're done this, so exit out of that. And now in, go into your iPod. Alright? Now, what you're going to want to do on your iPod is go to Winterboard. So there's Winterboard. Click it. And look up there. Steven's Icons. Alright? So I'm going to click that. Go back. It's going to reboot. As you can see, it's rebooting. And you guys are going to check out my new... Sorry, one second, I'm just going to slide. But you look at that. See, my Winterboard is now the customized logo. My Safari is now Internet Explorer logo, but it's still Safari. YouTube actually says YouTube now. Uh, green Installer. And um, that's my music player. But yeah, you guys get the point. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.